Mountain Valley man keeping close tabs on the situation unfolding there. He has family still part of the FLDS community. Yeah, and he grew up on the very streets now covered with mud. ABC 15's Nohelani Graf joins us live with this exclusive interview. The images, though, have have had to be tough for him to see. Well, you know, Katie and Steve, he left as a teenager because of the strict way of life, but he says a different belief system doesn't lessen the impact of seeing his childhood home look like this, his old friends struggling. He has a brother on the rescue crew up there right now, and he knows so many lives lost will fracture that community. This is the front yard. It's definitely hard to see it. The images are stunning. Yeah, they're getting everybody out. I remember walking across that bridge when I was a kid. And surreal for Urban Stewart. He sees childhood memories washing away. Crazy to see, you know, just like the landmarks, to see him getting destroyed. But he's glued to it, craving information the last 24 hours. Nerve wracking to know that the family was up there and not to know who was involved in the accident. Stewart, once an FLDS member, left as a teenager, but five younger siblings are still there, plus extended families. He finally learned they're safe. That's my brother right there. His brother, who also left the church, is one of the rescuers, volunteering to wade through the mud, searching for survivors. When he heard about it, he just, you know, went there to see what he could do to help. In that, he sees hope cooperation instead of separation. Really sad. It had to be a tragic event like this, but just to see him work it again together is definitely encouraging. Stewart knows for better or worse in a town where everyone is connected. It's definitely going to be a devastating effect on the whole community, getting over the, the loss of life there. Encouragement, prayers, and strength are exactly what the people of Hilldale will need to recover. Now, as for the 12 flood victims, Stewart says he grew up with older members of that family, so the loss does hurt. He points out the main bridge in town has been built to allow for the creek to swell, but he has never seen it flood quite like this. Oh, no, hey, thanks for sharing his perspective.